All right, here's some big news coming in. Maharashtra cabinet meet now, all set to happen at 5 p.m., even as the Supreme Court will take up the matter on Udhav Thakre's plea against a floor test at the same time at 5 p.m. But Udhav Thakre now to chair another cabinet meeting at the same time. Shiv Sena now planning to bring in a resolution on changing the name of Aurangabad to Sambhaji Nagar. Sources say that the Congress and the NCP are likely to oppose this. The Congress on ideological grounds, the NCP on the question of timing of this resolution. Will this be a possible exit route for Udhav Thakre from the government and the alliance? Is it Udhav Thakre now trying to play the Hindutva card when his government stares at a floor test? Several questions being raised on the intent of Udhav Thakre as we hear that Shiv Sena under Udhav Thakre right now will be pushing for bringing a resolution on changing the name of Aurangabad to Sambhaji Nagar. This is a huge development coming in the midst of a plea that's been filed in the Supreme Court by the Udhav Thakre camp asking for intervention by the Supreme Court against a floor test which the governor has requested for. The governor has already pushed for the Mahavikas Agari to prove their numbers on the floor of the house tomorrow morning 11 a.m. The Udhav Thakre as the chief minister has already appealed through his lawyers to the Supreme Court asking uh, for the floor test to be stopped until the rebel MLAs have to face the disqualification process. But here we hear that Shiv Sena already in the midst of this planning to bring in a resolution on changing the name of Aurangabad to Sambhaji Nagar. Vidya joining us more on that. Vidya, uh, a huge development coming in on this front as Shiv Sena is now grappling to stay in power under Rudhav Thakre. It appears that they are now deciding to bring in, bring in a resolution on changing the name of Aurangabad to Sambhaji Nagar. We know that this was a request raised by the Shiv Sena long ago, but for it, for it to come now and uh, for a resolution to be pushed in such an urgency, while they know very well NCP and the Congress may oppose it, what's the intent? Uh, well, of course, you know, uh, it's around 5 o'clock that the cabinet has been called and right there, uh, during this entire cabinet, the proposal that has been put forth by Anil Parab will uh, be, uh, you know, heard and uh, certainly would be passed. Uh, this is one of the, you know, pet projects of Bal Thakri, as you can see, uh, since the time immemorial, since the party has been in function, it has been stating the same, but right now, uh, you know, the, the cabinet has uh, decided to take it uh, uh, take this issues forward now, but let me also show Nabila a couple of things here. Like people here have collected, and they are actually protesting against uh, the MLAs who are coming. Look at the posters who are, that have been colored. Uh, uh, you know their faces blackened. These are the uh, MLAs who had gone away to Guwahati and are probably will be now heading to uh, uh, to uh, uh, Goa in some time uh, for before they actually head here. For the floor test, but certainly, you know, most of these people here saying that they will be, uh, you know, they will be continuing the protest. They are claiming that they have not been told by anyone, but they are extremely hurt by what these MLAs have done, and that is one of the reasons why they are protesting here right now. Nabila. A, a quick word here, we're looking at uh, Udhav Thakre pulling out the Hindutva card last minute, just as he has to face uh, the floor test, even as the matter is in Supreme Court. The Supreme Court will be hearing the matter at 5 p.m. At the same time, 5 p.m. is when a cabinet meet has been called for, and they're going to be likely pushing for a resolution on changing the name of Aurangabad to Sambhaji Nagar. Again, a quick take from you on the intent of the Udhav Thakre government at this point. Are they trying to salvage the situation through this attempt? this backdoor uh, display of Hindutva that they're trying to project so that they convince uh, indirectly those rebel MLAs. If at all they do have to face a floor test, then, then they're sure uh, to send out a message that, listen, we still are very much true to our Hindutva ideology. That's right, Nabila. In fact, uh, you know, uh, for the last two and a half years, uh, the Uddhav Thakri government did nothing about it. It's something that most uh, people have been speaking against. In fact, the BJP, in fact, Ekna Chinde camp themselves, they have been raising this issue as to how the party has actually gone away from its core uh, ideology, that of Hindutva. And by giving this example itself as to how Bal Thakri really wanted the Aurangabad city to be named after Sambhaji and in 
spite of that, in spite of the fact that uh, uh, Abal Thakre had said it millions and trillions of times that the city had to be turned into, um, you know, uh, at Sambhaji Nagar, but in spite of that, in spite of coming into power for the last two and a half years, they did nothing. It is probably to counter that itself that this entire move has been made at the uh, teeth of the moment that, the, you know, probably when you're just, just about to lose the entire coalition, even though they are trying their best, but at this juncture, the, probably one of the last few cabinet meetings that are being held, it's right now that... Uh, uh, what's the likelihood of the NPP or the Congress for that matter? At around 5 o'clock today. Right. Vidya, what's the likelihood of NCP or the Congress uh, well, the approving to this request or resolution that uh, Udhav Thakre wants to pass? Uh, well, this entire core issue of Hindutva is the one which is breaking up this entire party. Probably, uh, you know, a uh, lot of Shiv Sainik say that if this proposal is not opposed by the Congress and the NCP, then probably quite a few of the MLAs who are uh, opposing and who are right now in Guwahati could probably see that, you know, the party hasn't really gone so farther away from the, its core ideology and could probably think that, okay, it's still the same and so might come back. So they're really hoping that the Congress and the NCP does not really oppose and the, and the NDA probably will continue if, uh, you know, these uh, revolting MLAs come and see that, the, you know, they, they are still following the Hindutva ideology and might actually join hands and vote for them. So, you know, many such things are in order. They are really hoping that things turn out around for them. But yes, the Congress and the stand of the NCP would be extremely crucial uh, for getting this entire cabinet proposal passed. You know, give us a little insight into uh, uh, Aurangabad's name being changed to Sambhaji Nagar. It, it appears that even MNS for that matter, under Raj Thakre, had been pushing for the same. How long has this request been pending which hasn't been approved of? Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, for the, uh, I think uh, uh, quite a few decades ago also that uh, mm. this proposal was made. Uh, however, you know, uh, uh, in fact, uh, as a firefighting measure, uh, you know, the Shiv Sena had actually proposed that the new airport that has come out in Aurangabad should be named after Sambhaji Maharaj. But that also is pending with the central government. The BJP ha also hasn't really approved that as well. So many issues that are revolving around Aurangabad would probably be cleared for the party and could give them a push if this entire proposal really comes about in, in the cabinet today.